there, it's Bobby, aka Paginator, and I have an Outcrate unboxing plus some other mail packages to open today. Can I take a second and tell you how much? I just need some like bookish goodness today. Yesterday my car broke down. It's in the shop. I have no idea how it's, much it's going to cost me. I I'm I've not been in the best of moods, so this is going to help. First up, we have a package from Book Depository. This is a book that I ordered a little bit ago because I have no self-control. You already need that. We have Frostheart Number three, this is the last and third book in the series. It is by Jamie Littler, also Im illustrated by Jamie Littler. And it is a fun, rompy kind of adventure. Here's an example of illustrations. This takes place in a polar kind of kingdom that we get the idea is like somewhere in the distant future after we've destroyed the planet. And Ash, our main character, has magical powers when he sings there are also creatures called leviathans that live within the snow and his magic reaches out to them in some way he's kind of shunned by his community and at one point he is kind of told you're not welcome here so he sneaks off on a ship called the frost heart which is kind of a merchant trading vessel and he and the ragtag group of people and his Yeti guardian are off on an adventure. And through the series, he's trying to solve a riddle that will lead him back to his parents that wandered away when he was very small. Next, we have a box from Amazon. Where is my sword? Aha. That took a lot longer than I thought it was going to in this box. Did not want to come open, but it is now. We'll set aside the little pillow items and grab these. We have two items. One was a pre-order from a while ago, and then one was kind of an impulsive, I think that sounds really fun thing. So I pre-ordered Kingdom of the Curse, which is the sequel to Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco. I loved the first book in the series. It involves a prince of hell, a girl whose twin sister was just murdered, and dangerous bargains. Sequel is going to take us back into that world. I'm very excited about it. And the other book is Weird Things Customers Say in Bookstores. Real, actual things that customers say in bookstores. I'm going to randomly open up to a conversation. Let's see. Okay, the one I opened to randomly was really long. So I am I flipped a couple pages and I found a short one. Very random. Customer, I'd like a refund on this book, please. Bookseller, what seems to be the problem? Customer, I barely touched it. It's ridiculous. Bookseller, what do you mean? Customer, I mean, all I did was drop it in the bath by accident. And now I mean, just look at it. The thing's unreadable. <laughs> Someone actually expected to get a refund because they dropped their book in the bathtub. No. What do you bet they were a Karen and asked to see the manager? So anyway, I thought this book would be fun to just kind of have a peruse through. I might read a couple of passages to my students when we're talking about unreasonable requests. Might be a good one to pull for some examples there. And now we get to the thing we're all waiting for, Owl Crate Box. <sighs> Love Alcrate days. Alright, I'm ready to lift up the lid for you here. And what have we got? A staircase? Is that Phantom of the Opera? Am I seeing things? I'm probably seeing things. Let's set the box down and take this a step at a time, shall we? Um, had things stuck to my sweater, that's nice. Okay, so we've got a gentleman with a cape at the top of stairs, candlelight, and a girl in a dress, like, pleading with him. Haunted Hearts is the theme. Um, he doesn't have a mask, so I'm not thinking Phantom of the Opera, but still, like, you would understand where I would make that connection, right? Okay, let's see what we've got in the box. 
Okay, so the first thing I pulled is this box within a box. I see mushrooms on it. There's a book with a moon, some leaves. So very fall. On the back it says, reading through the seasons. To celebrate the unique beauty found in each of the four seasons, we've created a special limited collection of drinkware designed by the artist Macarena Chomik. Our ode to autumn and its crisp weather is a stunning ceramic travel mug and featuring a quote from Emily Bronte. It is dishwasher microwave safe and holds 16 ounces. That's a nice size for a travel mug. Let's see. Maybe we'll get to see what it looks like. Some boxes don't want to open today. Oh, this is cute. Cute, cute. So I'm going to slip off this little um, grippy thing and we'll take a proper look at the design. Every leaf speaks bliss to me fluttering from the autumn tree. So there's our Emily Bronte quote. And we'll do a little spin here so you can see the design. That's just really pretty nice fall colors. My family just had family photos done. And this is very much our color scheme, like the rusty orange and this teal here and this lighter color here, um, some brown. So this could match our family photos. I should have had it with me. All right, we've got another box in the box. Hearts were beautifully fierce yet fragile things. Someone's at my door. Please hold. And we're back. There was two really sweet ladies from my church who had brought me a late birthday present. And we had a little chat visit there. Um, and I need to open and see what they brought me. Let's see. Oh my heavens, this is massive. Shea butter for hands, feet, and body. Look at this. It's huge. 25 ounces of lotion. Oh, I need this because where I live, it gets really dry in the winter. We go through lotion like crazy. We're going to have to give this a sniff. Ooh, that smells really nice. The good thing about um, shea butter is like... It's moisturizing and it has this really nice smell that's not too overpowering. I really, really like that. Mm, this is going to go live on the um, bedside table. Oh, there's something else. <laughs> they sent me missing body parts. Actually candy, but it says missing body parts. <laughs> I love it. We've got eyeballs and... What else is there? That looks like a tongue. There's all kinds of gummy candies in here. That's cute. Raspberry, strawberry, gummy body parts. My two favorite berry flavors, raspberry and strawberry. People are so nice. They totally didn't have to do that. Like they only brought me a present because I go to the same church as them. Like people are so nice. Okay, let's get back to our Alcrate box. We were just about to open this. And again, I will read the quote to you. It says, hearts were beautifully fierce yet fragile things. And what is inside? Oh, what have we here? Oh, yes. Yeah. This is so much fun. Okay, so we have a little stand. And in this stand... You put a bottle of ink. Okay, this says Cresswell and Wadsworth Forensic Ink. That's cute. Okay. And then there is a glass pen with a fountain pen nib on it. So this goes in here. I've used glass pens before with my students. We did a whole lesson on historical writing utensils. It was so much fun. Because some of my students that I didn't have last year, they're going to be like, what strange contraption is this? And I'll be like, in ancient times, we used these to send long text messages to the people we cared for. And that was themed for Stocking Jack the Ripper, which makes a lot of sense. The forensic ink, you know, get it. I get it. Okay, we've got another box in a box. So many boxes. Um, on the back it says Haunted Heart Coasters. Use these wonderfully dark coasters to protect the surfaces. 
in your home all year round, featuring quotes from The Vampire Diaries, Crimson Peak, Northanger Abbey, and Pablo Neruda. Pablo Neruda is a poet, by the way. All right, so we have round coasters. Um, this one says, I love you as certain dark things are to be loved in secret between the shadow and soul. All right, so which quote do we think that is from? I am not sure. There are no clues. Beware how you give your heart. That could be from any of those, actually. It's a monstrous love, and it makes monsters of us all. Don't underestimate the allure of darkness. Even the purest hearts are drawn to it. So I could do a little bit of Googling to, to like find out which quote goes from which thing. But it is uh, these are designed by Lichen and Limestone, and they are an Alcrate exclusive product. Did you know that you can sometimes buy items from Alcrate, like their website? Uh, they have a store, and sometimes you'll have to like buy the whole box together, or sometimes they'll sell individual items, especially the books. Um, so if you're ever like falling in love with a certain item, get on their website and see if they've got it available. Guess what we have? Another box in a box. <laughs> this one is just a plain white box. What is inside? Oh, oh. Oh no, it fell. Good thing I'm used to constantly dropping stuff and picking it back up. Okay, so this is a wooden placeholder. The instructions say place your thumb within the wooden ring to help keep the pages of your book held open for easier reading. So you stick your thumb like this. Let's grab this book and we'll open it up. Okay, I'm gonna put out my other thumb because I hold my books with my left hand. Okay. Oh, I see. Nice. I got something like this um, from Wish once, but it was plastic and it was this very weird shape and being from Wish, it's a gamble anyway. I did not love it. Didn't work the way I wanted it to, but this actually works really nicely. Should we read another one of these little conversations? I saw the words Harry Potter in there and it just made me want to read it. Customer holding up a copy of Harry Potter book. This doesn't have anything weird in it, does it? Bookseller. You mean like werewolves? No. Case. Bookseller. Right. Since when is having a gay character weird? Well, I guess probably a lot of people think that, but I don't. Dang it, why are people garbage sometimes? Oh, we forgot to look at the design of this page holder anyway. We got sidetracked. We've got some roses there, and it says there is music in your soul. So let's see if we can find out from the spoiler card where that quote comes from. Oh, it's from Winter Song. Gotcha. Okay, we've got some squigglies to get rid of. Where's my garbage can? And we've got the pin. Let's pull this out of the plastic for you. I really like this pin. I'm just going to say that right now. It is spooky and perfect for the Haunted Hearts theme. We have a black candlestick with red roses holding up a candle that's got kind of a red flame. Although it would be kind of funny if it was a black flame. Who lit the black flame candle? It's been a few days since I've watched Hocus Pocus and I kind of want to watch it again. We have reached the book and I am so excited because this book has been on my radar for a little while. It is Lake's Edge by Lindell Clipstone. Let's remove the packaging and get into taking a closer look. All right, so I don't know if you can tell for sure, but this is printed right on the hardcover. So we have this lovely candelabra, and we've got a key up here and all kinds of like little vines and things going around. And then on the back, we have more. It says, there are monsters in the world, there are monsters in the woods, there's a monster in the shadows, and it now it knows my name. What's 
that's fun. All right, let's open up cute, pretty end papers, sticking with the red theme. Signature by the author in red. That's really cute, too. Oh, why is it so cute? All right. Let's try the Dear Reader letter. Oh, it comes on the back of this print. I'm guessing these are characters. And they look a bit gruesome. We'll see if I can read this person's handwriting. Dear Alcrate Reader, Lake's Edge is a love letter to the girl I was at 17. Full of daydreams and a desire for magic, it draws on so many of the things I loved then and now. David Bowie as the Goblin King. You have me right now! Death and the Maiden mythology and Florence and the Machines laugh album. Lungs album? What's her album's name? I can't read her handwriting. I think it's Lungs. It's a book that contains so many pieces of my heart, a story about love and grief and finding power in unexpected places. And the biggest piece of my heart belongs to Violetta. She's fierce and foolish, um, willing to go to any lengths to protect what is important to her. It makes me so happy to think think of you holding my book in your hands and I hope you enjoy your visit to Haunted Lakes Edge Estate. Thank you for reading Lindahl Clipstone. Dave Bowie, oh my. I love the movie Labyrinth so much. It's, um, you can see the Goblin King is right there. There he is. I first saw that movie when I was 16. I don't know why it took me that long to see it, but that's another one that, like, I'll watch, and then maybe a week will go by, and I'll go, hmm, I kind of want to watch that again. It's just very written on my heart, I suppose you could say. So before we return to the box, I feel like I'm going to uh, need to read to you a synopsis from Goodreads just to get more in a, of an idea of the plot of this book because we don't have a dust jacket blurb there. Um, this says, there are monsters in the world. When Violetta Graceling arrives at Haunted Lakes Edge Estate, she expects to find a monster. She knows the terrifying rumors about Rowan Sylvan, who drowned his entire family when he was a boy. But neither the estate nor the monster are what they seem. As Letta falls for Rowan, she discovers he is bound to the Lord Under, a sinister death god lurking in the black waters of the lake, a creature to whom Letta is inexplicably drawn. There's our Goblin King influence right there, I think. Now to save Rowan and herself, Letta must confront the darkness in her past, including unraveling the mystery of her connection to the Lord Under. So, as I said, this book's been on my radar for a little while. Um, I, I've seen it on like some spooky upcoming release lists, and... I just thought that it seemed like a really interesting premise. So there we go. We had something that was hiding under the book that feels kind of heavy. It's this Riddle in Raven's envelope, black with gilded foiling on the front. And what is inside? I would very much like to know. We have magnets that are frames. This one says, it's easy to lose sight of what's real when you're lost in the stars. And then we have this one. All the time in the world is worth nothing if I don't get to spend it with you. Aww. So you could put these around pictures, hang them on your fridge. Um, I might hang them on my whiteboard at school just for funsies because you know we might as well keep adding to the halloween collection of things i don't think i showed in my birthday haul i bought a sign for my classroom um and i think i just left it in the car so it wasn't here for me to see to include in the hall but i bought myself this sign it was actually at a grocery store when i was in utah and it says if you can read this you're blissfully unaware of what's creeping up behind you i love it so much Okay, the Alcrate newsletter, we're going to take a look at the difference in book covers. So here is the regular edition. We have a girl on the stairs mimicking the art card, or perhaps the art card was mimicking it. 
And here is the Alcrate edition. Quite a big difference this time. That's really cool. And the theme for our next box is Wield Your Blade. Every October box will include a candle from Flick the Wick. You can never have too many bookish candles. Cool. What a really nice box. I feel like I say that every time, but I really, really enjoy this. Uh, of course, I'm most excited about the book because, as I said, I've been looking forward to this for quite a while. But I, I think my favorite item item is going to be the calligraphy set, the glass pen and the ink thing, just because that's so old-fashioned, romantic, and oh, love it. My students are going to freak over this box. They love when I do show and tells and then they're always like hoping is she gonna give that away is she gonna give that away I don't think I'm gonna give away anything from this box in particular but you know things happen sometimes <laughs> um, that's gonna be it for this video I hope you enjoyed it let me know in the space down below how your October is going and if at all possible send me some good vibes so that my car can get fixed have a wonderful, magical, and bookish day. Happy reading. Adios.